guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our episodes of the um, using up a length of lace. So this is our little mini series that we've been running between um, the Christmas and New Year period for 2022. So we've had six days of, um, you know, what can you do with the length of lace? So I do apologise that the sun is glaring through. Hopefully it's going to have moved round within the next few minutes and then, you know, won't be causing a problem. So what I thought we could do today is just make some lace envelopes and I thought we could do some lace envelopes with a slight kind of difference. So, you know, the lace is obviously very floppy. Um, you know, so personally, I wouldn't want my envelope being all floppy like that. So I've got some greaseproof paper here. I'm just going to just cut that down so that I can just use it as a sort of layered piece. So... I'll just put that down there okay and we're going to do a few different types of envelopes here so the first one I think what we're going to do we're going to use some Mod Podge here and we're going to stiffen the lace so we're going to have a lace envelope but it's going to be stiffened with the Mod Podge so all I'm going to do is because you know we're coming to the end of this series and I've got one more day's worth of videos to do I haven't decided what I'm doing yet for that but I just want to make sure I've got enough lace for, you know, left for that. So I'm going to kind of measure my envelopes out so that I make sure that I have got enough left. So I'm just going to cut that across there like that. So that will be one, one envelope. And like I say, you know, you could make them obviously like this, but it's going to be a flimsy floppy envelope, which, you know, that might be what you're looking for. I'm thinking if we stiffen this slightly with the Mod Podge, it's going to make a sort of slightly more robust envelope, which might be more usable. So that's going to be one. <clears throat> Another envelope that I thought we could do is using some food coloured paper. So again, I've got that pretty kind of amethysty, pale amethysty colour. And I thought we could obviously put it onto here. So you've got the colour shine, uh, not shining, sorry, it's because of the glare showing through. Um, in that paper so all again I'm going to do is just oops, take my envelope or take my lace down to the sort of size that oops so the size that my envelope would want to be so like that and again just cut my cut my lace just across there okay like that and then for this one you see I'm going to obviously adhere it to this paper and then the final one I'm going to have a little go at oh dear there's not much lace there perhaps this was the lace was it that I'd cut off for the envelope hmm. I'm I'm thinking we don't have that much lace left so obviously I want to make sure I've got enough for another video which like I said I've not decided what we're going to do yet um oh, now thinking we'd best make a mini mini envelope because otherwise we're definitely not going to have enough left so yeah oh i'm really um really scraping the barrel here aren't i that's all the lace that i've got left from here right okay so we're going to make you know a tiny little envelope here hopefully backing it onto this greaseproof paper now i haven't done this before i don't know whether it's actually going to stick on here very well um but let's give it a try and kind of you know have a go and see so i'm going to take first of all the you know the first piece of lace and all i'm going to do is mod podge it on the reverse side of the lace so i've got my mod podge here had to buy some new mod podge because um you know i haven't used it for a while and mine had run out well, that's probably why I haven't really used it for a while, to be honest. But yeah, so bought some more. Obviously misjudged and ended up getting a small one. For the same price as the big one, because, you know, prices have all increased, haven't they? So yeah, not very good. It's now the same price for the small one as it used to be for the large one. Oh, now I can't get into this. Hold on. Oh, I thought I would use my teeth, but no, they're not working either. So yeah, that's just use the messy method of obviously cut around here and then just yeah oh right to 
going to wipe that on there just because I want to use every last little bit. Okay. Right. So then I'm just going to take my brush and obviously spread that around onto the lace. Okay. So like that. Now, I have to be honest, the lace is not the easiest thing to spread onto. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of moving and, yeah, not, not the best thing to try and paint onto, but... Anyway, it's it's fine. So like that. Now it does absorb a lot, so you know you've got to be kind of prepared for using quite a bit. You could probably use melt, uh, not melted. Um, you know, uh, watered down PVA glue for this. To be honest, I think that would work absolutely fine too. Um, I was just kind of going for a time saving method and thought that I would use the Mod Podge but yeah I'm pretty sure that you know just some watered down PVA glue would be just as good for this. So that's the first one now I'm going to put that to one side hopefully dry it off. I will probably have to dry this with my heat um, tool unfortunately so yeah where should I put that to dry? Uh, right I've got a surface down there to the side so I've put it down to the side right I'm going to do my next one with my little piece that I thought that we would adhere to the greaseproof paper. So, yeah, I've not really planned this very well, but what I could do maybe is just paint down straight onto the greaseproof paper. <clears throat> like that. Whoops. Like that and then place my lace onto the greaseproof paper surface. So let's go, I hope you can see this. I don't know whether it's now off camera. So just a, oops, got it the wrong way around. I'm just going to trim this up here because obviously it's not very straight. So it doesn't need to be perfect, but a little bit straighter than it was would be probably good, a good thing. So yeah. Let's just put that one down like that. Okay. So hopefully that's going to stick to there. Like I say, I haven't tried it on the greaseproof paper. I don't know whether that's going to work or not. But I, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut it just here. You know, like we did with the little booklets. So my scallop is kind of overhanging the greaseproof paper slightly. So I just cut that down there. <clears throat> I'll just show you from the reverse. Just so that my lace is just overhanging that very, very slightly. Okay, and again, you know, we're not looking for perfection. It's, you know, it's fine. So I'll just put that to one side. Right. Now the final piece, I'm just going to turn this over so I don't get, um, you know, glue all over it is this one, which I'm going to put down onto this kind of, you know, pale amethyst -y colour. And we will just cut this down here. Okay. Like that. And, yeah, move that one out of the way. And I mean, I'm just using this, um, you know, uh, food coloured paper. But I mean, of course, you could use, you know, sheet music or anything else. You know, you don't have to be using, obviously, this. You know, you could use any, any paper. So, right, let me work out or, you know, just lay that to the side so, so I know roughly where to paint my Mod Podge. So, just a, a good coating of Mod Podge. Now, again, you don't have to glue this on. You may prefer yours just loose and stitched around the edge. That would be another alternative, um, which I would demonstrate. But obviously, I do not have enough lace now to do that, um, you know, because I'm trying to hang on to some for another video. But if you did, then you could obviously, you know, have it where it's not actually glued on at all. And you're just then... 
stitching it onto the um, paper. So I'm going to dry these now with my heat tool and then I'll come back and then we're going to um, make our envelopes. So hold on. Right, I'm back. So I have now um, dried them off. They're not 100% dry, but you know, they're dryish. They will do. So let me move my Mod Podge off of the desk before I obviously spill that somewhere because that will be the next thing. And let's face it, it's pretty likely to happen, isn't it? So yeah, we'll move that out of the way. So this is our obviously plain lace one um, that we obviously just mod podged onto this now it's got to be said this could have done with a little bit more drying but hopefully it's good enough and hopefully you can see I mean it's still floppy so we've still got the um you know the floppiness of the lace but it's just slightly kind of thicker so almost like I guess almost a bit oil cloth like um in its texture now the good thing is obviously we just mod podged that at the back it's not picked up any sheen or anything like that. It doesn't look like oilcloth. But the back has just got that sort of almost like the back, I suppose, of an oilcloth um, tablecloth or something. But the front, it's not changed the appearance at all. If I just bring in, you know, the original kind of piece of lace, it doesn't look any different whatsoever. So, you know, that's really, really um, a good way to do it. So this one here, this is on the greaseproof paper. Again, it's not 100% dry, but hopefully it will do. And... I'm hoping it's going to actually be, you know, stuck down well enough to be able to make the envelopes. So we're just making those little kind of, you know, what I would call like the clutch bag style envelopes. So just kind of folding them over like that. So I'm just going to trim this down here. And then all I'm going to do is take them to the sewing machine and stitch them down. Now, I'm not going to take you across to the sewing machine, I'm afraid, because um, it's yeah it's a bit tedious kind of trying to actually set my camera up over there again i don't seem to be able to set it up properly at the table since i've moved room moved rooms um so it's just going to go up here and all i'm going to do is stitch obviously down here but what i might do just for kind of extra um you know not protection but you know extra to make sure it's really kind of stuck down there is just run a stitch along here so i'm going to run a stitch along there then fold it and stitch it obviously here and then this is going to be the foldy flap so again I will run a stitch oops run a stitch around here just to make sure that it's glued down properly and then the final one is obviously you know the one on this pretty food colored paper so again just trim that down oops like that and I just fold this up here again this a little bit soggy could have done with a bit longer in the drying process but it's fine it is fine so might just take that up slightly more like that and then just fold my flap down like that now this one as you can see I mean my flap is kind of overhanging from the paper I mean I actually think that's quite pretty so I think I'll probably just leave that um, but of course, you know, if you didn't like things like that, then you wouldn't have to be, have to be leaving it. So again, I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to just run a little stitch along here and then stitch it down so that it's kind of, you know, held to that paper properly. I mean, like I say, it is mod podged on there. So, I mean, it probably is fine anyway, but I just, um, you know, for extra, extra precaution, I'm just playing around with this thinking actually I could change this around and we could have a sort of longer flap envelope. I don't know whether that might look pretty. Let me just turn this up the other way and just see. Oh, I love how that looks actually. So I'm just going to fold this right down. So this would be our bottom of our envelope instead. And we would have the, you know, the tall envelope flap there. So I think that looks really nice. Just for a sort of variation in, in style, really. So yeah, right, I'm going to take these to the sewing machine and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with my envelopes. So what I've done, I've got the long flap envelope there with the kind of purpley inside. So I'll just squish that down like that, okie dokie. Then I've got, obviously, this is the one without an inner you know, without a lining of any sort. So that one just folds over 
like that now obviously this one you know it's not kind of got a definite fold if you know what i mean because it's not got any inside now obviously we've mod podged this it's still kind of a bit damp uh, damp but what will happen is as the mod podge dries more and it you know it becomes drier and stiffer this will actually then stay you know stay folded over well i hope it will anyway i'm, I'm pretty sure it will um so yeah that will kind of get over that and then the final one is obviously this little grease proof one which we've done a mini envelope just because we were obviously running out of lace at that point so that's that one and again this is a little bit resistant to wanting to fold over because it's got that grease proof paper it's kind of like pinging back open it's probably because i've done a small envelope with this again in hindsight i would have been better off doing the larger envelope i think from the grease proof paper but it's all fine now i did have to stitch this around because it was moving on the grease proof paper so you'll see there i've got a little kind of um what's the word like a folded piece of fabric a folded piece of lace Again, I don't know whether that's because the Mod Podge wasn't really dry properly or whether actually it's just, you know, it's resistant to sticking on the greaseproof paper. Um, but that was just one of the things that I did encounter. So I just want to kind of point that out. Now, again, can just trim that envelope up at the side so it looks a little bit kind of tidier and neater. But they're super cute, aren't they? And then, of course, we can decorate them up. So this one here to see what we want to put now obviously i've got that gorgeous amethyst um going on on the inside so you know it would be good to continue the theme i've just got this amethyst ribbon which we'd used i think for one of the pockets on the first day so i'm just going to see if i can tie a little bow this is you know this is just the leftover the off cut so oops oh my goodness yep struggling to thread that through oh why I would choose to do this on camera, I <laughs> have no idea. Oh dear. Right. Let's just tidy that up a little bit. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then we we'll just just kind of neaten that up a little bit. Oh dear. That bow is not looking good at all, is it? No. No, not looking good. Oh dear not made a good bow there at all but anyway well we might just even undo this and just have it maybe with a um you know a buckle there we go right oh my goodness how pretty does that look so i might have that on the front so i'm just going to kind of squish this down or you know hold it down for a minute now, obviously, I have got some of that gorgeous lace that we um, food color, uh, not not food color dyed. We distress inked it, didn't we? So I could even edge this with some of this, and then put that bow on. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? Again, yes, ridiculously, I'm actually wanting to hoard this. I mean, who knows what what is wrong with me there? But yeah, I've got an urge now to hoard it instead of use it. I'm just going to cut it down here because this is like, um, you know, the edge that we'd used. I can't remember even what we were making with these, but it's, you know, it's just a kind of scrappy bit, basically. So that would then just edge there. So I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac glue to put that down. I can just pull that in. I'm just... Just getting that dried clump off the end. Okay. Oh, it's so cold today. I can't tell you. Honestly, it was, um, yeah, minus three. Minus three. Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible. So, yes, not a, not a nice day. And that was, you know, I dropped my son down to um, the train station because obviously, you know, he wants to be walking in minus three temperatures. So, yeah, I dropped him down and, um, I mean, that was like quarter to eight and it was still minus three. So, not, not nice. Oh, horrible freezing. Right, okay. So, that's there. I mean, it's just kind of bringing that pretty amethysty colour in, isn't it? So, and then we'll just glue down my bow like that. 
And you can probably see, I mean, there's even a little hole in that lace. That's just where I was drying it with the heat tool and obviously got a bit close to the lace. But it's fine. You don't really kind of notice it. I don't think it's, you know, it's a big deal. So, yeah, it all looks fine. And then let's just see. I've got this tiny little bit left. So I'm just going to pull this in. I mean, you know, I might, might not really be able to use this. But, hey, if we can, then it's a, you know, waste not, want not type situation, isn't it? So we could have that there and I'm just thinking maybe kind of a label or something on there. So let's just pull in some labels here. Now let's find one that's going to be a good, oh that's quite pretty isn't it? Yeah that one's quite pretty and what I might do is ink that again with that seedless preserves a little bit. So I might yeah, I might take that down slightly on the edges. Maybe rough it up because I do like the roughed up, roughed up edges. Yeah, it's so cold, honestly. The house is just freezing. I mean, it's not as cold as minus three, obviously, but yeah, it doesn't feel far off. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cold. Oh, I've got the really warm, cosy jumper on today. So, um, yeah actually i did say to my son because i got this from uh, there's a website well it's i don't know whether it's a website or whether it's an app my sister had told me about it it's called sheen sells very cheap clothes and um yeah my sister told me about it and i got it from there so obviously it's not not quality items of clothing or anything but i got this jumper from there and when it first arrived i thought oh you know i'm not sure but do you know what it's such a cozy lovely jumper so I might actually buy myself I said to my son I might buy another couple so that for the whole of the winter I can just kind of rotate the three of them you know just wear them every day and um you know I'll always kind of have one like in between when they're being washed and dried I'd have one to wear still so because they are pretty cozy which obviously is just what's needed at the moment okay so yeah, and then just going to put that label over. Do I want it more to the side or do we want it? Oops. Do we want it in the middle? I mean actually I know that's weird, but yeah, I actually quite like it in the middle. I quite often seem to put things in the middle now, which is strange. I never used to put anything in the middle, but I'm kind of veering towards the middle these days. So yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? What a scrumptious envelope. So, and obviously that one's a variation because we've got the long flap there. So it's kind of a variation on the traditional kind of more clutch style kind of envelope because we've got the long flap, but I absolutely love it, I have to say. Now I haven't put anything on the back. You can see obviously the pretty amethyst through there. So we could always put something on the back of there as well just having a look through some of my labels and things so I mean we could have this one on here I will just cut that end piece off like that I mean again you know don't necessarily need to decorate the back at all it just depends really I suppose you know are you going to be gluing it into the journal or having it as a loose piece um, but yeah maybe we'll put some on there let me just ink around that with that seedless preserves as well. Just so we've got the, you know, continuation from the back to the front. So, yeah. Pop that down on there. And, yep. Yeah. Oops. Come on. Yeah, it's quite a lot colder than yesterday because um, I'm pretty sure yesterday was, I think yesterday was three. So today is minus three. So it's kind of like dropped by six degrees, hasn't it? Which, I mean, that's a huge drop, actually. <laughs> huge drop. Oh, I don't know what temperature it is now. I mean, I'm obviously kind of a couple of hours later now. Well, about an hour later anyway. So, uh, yeah, maybe it's warming up a little bit. So, you know, just something like that on the back. Obviously, you could always put, like, maybe a postage stamp. Let me just see if I've got any 
vintage postage stamps that might be a you know a good color for on here yeah that's pretty isn't it so again just going to ink that a little bit just to get rid of those stock stock edges so we just put that on there you know it's just all tying that the blue and the um amethysty color together isn't it so yeah let's keep this upside down so i'm not having to wait for it to run down the bottle oh, right okay she says as she puts it straight up the right way again right there we go pop that one down there let's get my wipe okay like that oh how pretty does that look gorgeous so that's that one right let's do the um uh, the you know the plain one that hasn't got kind of innards on there and yeah let's have a look now obviously i've got my food color uh, not food colored the distressing colored pieces of lace the problem is i'm trying to obviously look after them just in case we might need them for the last video because i haven't decided yet what we're going to do on the last day so um yeah, I best hang on to those and not use those. So it might be a case of, you know, pull in some other some other lace, I think. So I've got this one, which is a kind of grey colour. So that, again, it's super pretty, isn't it? So let's just cut that down there. Okay. So we could just pop that on there. I'm just going to just check, actually, just before I glue that down, whether we might have preferred um, ivory. I mean, I just, yeah, that one was just sat there and I thought, oh, that one looks pretty. But actually, I'm just going to check that we wouldn't prefer a sort of ivory colour. Oh, The ivory is gorgeous, but I don't feel like it's actually showing up particularly, um, you know, enough. So, yeah, I think from that point of view, we'll go for this one. Now, again, going to glue this down on that flap, which then, you know, where I said it's, you know, it wasn't sort of holding folded, if you know what I mean. This is just going to make it a more obvious part of the fold, um, you know, as well. So just pop this down here like that. OK, and again, just dab that out. So, you know, I'm not sure really which ones I prefer, to be honest, whether I prefer, you know, the empty one, i.e., you know, just the, the lace without the paper or whether I like the paper backed ones. Um, I think they're all really nice and I think they've all got, you know, all got a place. Um, it's just kind of have a play around and sort of see see what you fancy. Oh, I've got some, some ivory there as well. So we could even have some ivory. Some ivory on there as well. Oh, maybe on the back. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Right, I must stop putting this up the right way because this is just very tedious to watch me keep on having to shake the bottle. Okay, like that. Okay, might just kind of try and ruffle that slightly. Just so it's, you know, a little bit textured like that. Okay, that looks pretty. And, hmm. Right, just having a look to see what I've got now. Obviously, this is pre-Christmas items, but I have got these gorgeous ones from my um, Christmas kit. So, yeah, perhaps I should go with one of those and actually incorporate this in my Christmas Christmas thing that I'm making at the moment which you know presumably is well I say presumably hopefully is probably what I should be saying hopefully is finished and actually incorporated in my um, advent calendar series but hey there's no no guarantees that that's taken place you know that it's actually been completed but that's pretty gorgeous isn't it I must must admit um, and I also had a postage stamp piece from that same kit so this is obviously from my silent night kit i think i had one that i had glittered which of course now i can't see anywhere oh, what have i done with that honestly it kept on falling into you know what i was working on and now of course now i'm looking for it can i see it no of course i can't so oh how annoying is that 
Right. Oh, here it is. I'd actually moved it out the way. So it was a bit like that, you know, don't put anything in that. Ooh, keep it somewhere safe. Because it's just code for, you know, never see it again. Right, let's just check. And for the project that I was working on, I actually had been using a lot of this um, pink glittered ribbon. So I could have some of that on there. Which obviously is, you know, I know looks like perhaps a strange choice, but it's just because obviously if I'm going to be putting this, oops, putting this with the pieces that I have been making, this would maybe, you know, maybe tie in quite nicely. Let me just check whether it's actually going to go before I, before I make a big fuss about, you know, trying to actually put it in there. Yeah, I think it will go, so yes, I'm going to do that. So again, just going to hot glue this down like that. I like to hot glue bows and things because obviously, you know, they're a little bit bulkier and the hot glue just, you know, holds them instantly. So it's, yeah, it's just my preferred method for anything that's a little bit, you know, a little bit bulky because it saves you then holding it down endlessly. Now, I have to say, I'm really loving the, um, the reindeer piece on the back there. I think that looks very pretty. I mean, he does look quite pretty at the front too, but... Oh, I can't decide now. Um, let me just see what else I've got here, because obviously I have been have been making those bits, so I'm just going to see if I've got some of those leftover bits that I've been using for that Christmas project. So I've got some rack here, which who doesn't love a bit of rack? Ooh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? To have the rip rack actually along the bottom of that. Maybe even just, you know, to the side there. Uh, yeah, perhaps I'll just have a little bit of this just at the side. So I'm just going to hot glue this down just for speed. Okay, like that. Oh, I can't decide now whether to put this here or over the other side. I mean, I like it both places, but let me just open this up so it's flattish for me to be able to put it down if I, you know, if I do want to. Or we could have that there. No, let's go for the reindeer. So, yeah. And just pop that one on there. Like that. Okie dokie. Oh, how pretty is that looking? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, yeah, I mean, we could have that on that side. Don't know really whether I want it on there or not, but yeah. Or obviously just, you know, pop some bits inside. Oh, so now I've glued that together. And there we go. Opens up easily enough so yeah I think we'll leave that kind of there I may decorate this further when I come to use it in my Christmas project um right so the last one is obviously this little one weirdly enough that little bit of black lace kind of got dragged in with it and um now I'm thinking oh should we should we incorporate a bit of black on this because we haven't had any black on them I think for a while so I'm thinking oh I always love a bit of black because it kind of adds a bit of drama doesn't it and um yeah everything looks very dramatic when you add the black bits so maybe something like that and maybe even you know just something very simple so using maybe like one of my labels but a black one it's probably a little bit big if i'm truthful that one but oh i've got my circles again mm-hmm Oh, that one maybe is a bit better. It's slightly smaller. Oh, that one. All right, let's have a look. That's all the circles that I dropped in there by mistake the other day. So, yeah. Well, I say all of them. There's probably more, actually. All right, let's just keep a few of these little bits out. Just a few. And then we can play around. Right, not the circles. They're not really... I was meaning to be using 
Um, that one's a bit big, isn't it? I know this one's even bigger still, but <laughs> weirdly, I'm quite loving that. Oh, I do quite like that. Now you could perhaps put that as a closure. Um, yeah, to be honest, that does work. So I'm just going to actually hot glue the bit of black lace. So we'll just hot glue that here. Oops, onto the side, Ooh. like that. And then we're just going to then take that. I'm just going to pop that on as a closure. Now, when I do these as a closure, what I like to do is put them on where they would be. And then if you open that flap with that held in place, you've got the guide then of where you need to glue that, if you see what I mean. Because sometimes in the past, I've ended up gluing them down, you know, over the closure, you know, past where they would need to be as a closure. So if you just do it that way, you know exactly where that needs to be glued to. So, you know, you've got your glue line sort of as a guide, or, you know, you've got your piece as a guide to where your glue line needs to be. So it's just, you know, a little kind of way of, yeah, just marking, I suppose, where you need to glue to. So isn't that just so gorgeous? And now I'm thinking a little bit of bling to just finish that off. Because again, we've been quite bling free lately. I don't know really what's going on with me and the bling, but I don't think I'm going off it. I, yeah, just for some reason, not really been using it so much. I don't know why. Um, but let's just bring in, bring in a little piece of bling there. And then we can just put that down like that. Oh my goodness, how pretty does that look? So, yeah. And that number, number, I think is from my number tabs, you know, my number set three, I think. So, yeah, if you were wondering where that number came from, I think it's my number set three. There we go. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? And, you know, all the pieces that we've made in this whole series so far, I mean, we've really used very minimal things to decorate them. But they just look so pretty, don't they? So, you know, these hopefully are no exception. You know, very minimal things have been used, but they look absolutely gorgeous once they're, you know, once they're decorated up. So, yeah, really hope that you like them. Um, let me know below which one's your favourite. I'm not sure which one my favourite is, to be honest. I think probably this one, because I just love the, you know, the striking appearance of the black. So you've got your little envelope in there. And then your little closure there. This one, obviously, you've got the long flap envelope, so you've got your pocket in there and you've obviously got this on the back and then this one which is the you know the plain lace which I have to say there is something quite lovely about this um like I said the inside feels a little bit like the reverse of an oil cloth oil cloth tablecloth um but how pretty does that look so yeah I really hope that you like them um hopefully it might give you some inspiration and you know maybe you would kind of go on to make some of these and yeah thank you so much for watching I will see you guys tomorrow um, for the last episode. So yeah, lucky we have saved a bit of lace. I have to say we've not got a great deal of lace left, but we've got a few scraps and we've got obviously that piece which I salvaged. And yeah, I think, I think this is it. Unless when I hunt around, there's some other teeny tiny scraps. But yeah, we're definitely down to kind of minimal pieces. So I need to give it some thought as to what we're going to do for the final episode. But um, yeah, hope you like the envelopes. So thank you so much. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.